So open AI yesterday introduced something called as function calling and other API updates. So what is this function calling capability? Let's look into it and let's also look at a demo of the function calling ability. Okay. So developers can now describe functions to GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Okay. And have the model intelligently choose to output a JSON object containing arguments to call those functions. This is a new way to more reliably connect GPT capabilities with external tools and APIs. So you add plugins, right? Um, so you can create chatbots that answer questions by calling external tools like chat GPT plugins. You already had that. Now what you can do is that you can define your own functions and have chat GPT or GPT uh, 3.5 or GPT 4 basically parse the user input, get arguments for the function. You can call the function, get the results back and send the results back to chat GPT. Okay. So that it incorporates the results in the response back to the user. Okay. For example, you know, you have this queries like email Anya to see if she wants to get coffee next Friday. Okay. This can be converted into a function call send email to string body string. Okay. Or what's the weather like in Boston can be converted to a function call like get current weather. And now you can have a third party API which can actually get the current weather and send the results back. Okay. So things like who are my top 10 customers this month? This can be parsed and you can get guest, uh, you can call a function like get customers by revenue. Okay. That's the idea over here. You can also extract structured data from text. For example, named entity recognition, right? You, uh, so you can define your named entity re uh, recognition function and have that function called. Okay. So it will actually parse the parameters and give it to you. Right. So this is to extract all people mentioned in a Wikipedia article. Okay. So these use cases are enabled by new API parameters in this particular API call called uh, chat completions, functions and function calls. Okay. So there is this documentation which explains this. Right. Now let's go to our demo, a very short demo quickly. Okay. So I have this collab notebook. So first I need to install OpenAI. Then I read the OpenAI keys from my OpenAI JSON file. So basically you need to create your API key. Okay. So once I read the open API key, I set it over here. I just write a simple function. Okay. Uh, get product of two numbers, which takes number one and number two and returns the product. Okay. So what is the change which I need to do over here? Right. In the chat completion uh, API, I have to define this particular function. Okay. I can define multiple functions over here, but in this case, I'm just using this function. So I, uh, this function has a description as well. You need a text description. So I say the name is get product of two numbers. Description is get the product of two numbers. Okay. And parameters are, there are two numbers, integer description, the first number examples of how it will look like, how the input looks like. And required is both the numbers should be present, right? Function call is auto. So chat GPT can decide whether it wants to call this function or not, right? So how would I run a conversation? So first I define this particular, I send this particular input, you know, what is the product of two and 14? This is the user query. So I send that to this completion API, whereby I also define this function. Okay. And function call as auto, right? Then I get the response from this particular API call, right? In the response, what I do is that if it has decided to, you know, do a function call, then I will get the, in the message, I will get function call. Okay. Then I extract the function name. I also extract the arguments. Okay. And then what I do is that I call the function, this locally defined function. I call it over here. I get the response. And then I send the response back over here to uh, chat completion saying that the role is function name is function name content is function response. And this is the user query. Okay. And this response, which I get will have the result basically. That is the idea over here. Okay. 
So when I'm running this conversation, I get this particular response saying that, uh, you know, first I get uh, get product numbers. Number one is this uh, two and number two is uh, 14, right? Finally, when I'm running this particular, uh, you know, conversation with this uh, inputs, basically, I get the final response as this one, right? The product of 2 and 14 is 28. So this is the answer which I get. Okay. So in this way, you can make use of your function calling, you know, this new feature of function calling in um, say chat GPT. Basically, you can make use of chat GPT, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. And now you can send functions. Okay, so this gives you much more control over what kind of output you want and you can call third party APIs over here. You can define your own functions, right? Your own custom, um, say business logic or your own specific business functions you can define over here, right? And you can call those functions, right? So here you have uh, the documentation of function calling, okay? Uh, so the basic sequence is this call the model with the user query and a set of functions defined in the functions parameter. That's what we did over here. Right? We defined the function parameters and the functions. Okay. Then what we do is the model can choose to call a function. If so, the content will be a stringified JSON uh, object adhering to your custom schema. Okay. Note the model may generate invalid JSON or hallucinate parameter. So that is something which you need to take care of. Then pass the string into JSON in your code, call your function with the provided arguments if they exist, which is this particular part, right? Then what is done? Call the model again by appending the function response as a new message and let the model summarize the results back to the user. That is what I've done over here, step four. Okay, so this is as simple as this. This is quite an exciting feature, right? Uh, this gives you a lot of functionality, uh, like you can call third party plugins, you can convert natural language into API calls or database queries, you can create chatbots that answer questions by calling external tools, right? So a lot of these things, you can extract structured data from text. A lot of these use cases are now enabled by this functions in chat GPT or in uh, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Okay. So other than this, there has been some other features which have come yesterday, like, you know, you, you get new 16K context version of GPT 3.5 Turbo versus the standard 4K version. 75% cost reduction in their state of art embeddings model, 25% cost reduction on input tokens for GPT 3.5 Turbo, right? Uh, so these were and updated and more steerable versions of GPT 4 and GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay, so these are some other uh, exciting features which came out yesterday. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.